Hello friends, I am Shantanu and now we are going to cover Air Prevention and Control of Pollution Act 1981. Before we start with this Air Act, you have to remember that सबसे पहले जो आया था pollution control का measure वो था Water Act की form में Water Prevention and Control of Pollution Act 1974. This was the first measure to control the pollution of water. After seven years of gap, government further realized that there is a air pollution as well, and for that purpose. Government enacted Air Prevention and Control of Pollution Act 1981 and the focus of this act will be on the air pollution. So let's see the object and the purpose of this act. This act provides for prevention, control and abatement. Prevention ka matlab hai usko rokna, air pollution ko rokna. Control means usko control mein rakhna, limit se exceed nahi hone dena. And abatement ka matlab hota hai ki usko aur kam karna, jo level hai uska pollution ka usko kam karna. So main object is ka prevention, control, abatement of air pollution hai. And establishment of board for carrying out the aforesaid purpose. So act banane ke baad usko implement karne ke liye agency ka hona zaruri hai. So yaha par power di hai government ko ki they can establish the board for the purpose of implementing this act. Again, now we will see the definitions under this act also. These are also important definitions. Bohat jada chances hain ki question in definitions ke upar aayega. The most important definition of this act is the air pollutant itself. Ab yahan pe dhyan se dekhna, dono exam mein aati hai. One is air pollutant. That is defined under section 2A and another is air pollution which is defined under section 2B. So first we will see the air pollutant. Air pollutant means any solid, liquid or gaseous substance including noise. So this you don't forget in the exam. Mein. Normally students skip it. So air pollutant means they are saying solid, liquid or gaseous substance including noise present in the atmosphere in such concentration when they are saying concentration is ka matlab wo baat kar rahe hai density ki suppose itna hai solid liquid gaseous there is no problem lekin agar or increase ho jata hai concentration is ka increase ho jata hai as may tend to injurious and because of this density of uh, this uh, solid liquid gaseous or noise there is an injury to human beings, living creature, plants, properties or environment. Ye sabhi aapko likhna hai. So it means just the mere presence of solid liquid gaseous substance or noise is not an air pollutant. But it's its concentration which decides whether it is an air pollutant or not. If it is present in such a concentration which will be injurious to human living creature, plant, property and environment, then only such will be treated as air pollutant. And now see the connected definition that is air pollution, which is defined under 2B. Air pollution simply means presence, presence of air pollutant in the atmosphere. So if atmosphere mein air pollutant hai, then it will be treated as air pollution. Now let's see the definition of control equipment. Control equipment means any apparatus, device, equipment or system. Kisi bhi tarah ka apparatus ho sakta hai, device, equipment ya system ho sakta hai. To control, naam is ka control equipment hai to, so to control the quality and the manner of emission of air pollutant. So, pehla to ye keh rahe hai ki, like if there is any factory, and factory you know from chimney it uh, emits certain air pollutant in the atmosphere. So, the industries are asked to install such apparatus, device, equipment system to control this quality, quality and manner of emission. So, this emission hota hai air pollution ka is factory se, 
इसको कंट्रोल करने के लिए कंट्रोल दी क्वालिटी एंड मैनर ऑफ दीज एमिशन कंट्रोल इक्विपमेंट नीड टू बी इंस्टॉल बाय दी फैक्ट्रीज इंडस्ट्रीज और प्रोसेसेस एंड नॉट ओनली दिस इट इंक्लूड्स ये भी इंपॉर्टेंट है इट इंक्लूड्स एनी डिवाइस यूज फॉर सिक्योरिंग द एफिशियंट ऑपरेशन एफिशियंट ऑपरेशन के लिए भी अगर कोई आपने डिवाइस लगाई है इंडस्ट्रियल प्लांट में देन इट विल ऑल्सो बी ट्रीटेड एज कंट्रोल इक्विपमेंट एफिशियंट ऑपरेशन का मतलब है टू रिड्यूस द वेस्टेज टू रिड्यूस द कॉस्ट सो इफ एनी इक्विपमेंट यू हैव इंस्टॉल्ड इन योर फैक्ट्री विच इज फॉर द एफिशियंट ऑपरेशन ऑफ इंडस्ट्रियल प्लांट देन दिस विल ऑल्सो बी ट्रीटेड एज कंट्रोल इक्विपमेंट now we will see the most important question of uh, this act is uh, air pollution control area area defined kar sakti hai state government to uh, for the purpose of control of air pollution so as per section 19 the state government after consultation with the state board so who will declare the area state government but after consulting the state board it can declare any area as air pollution control area to ye agar itni badi state hai is state mein state government can declare such areas as air pollution control areas isko aap bol sakte hain air pollution control area apca Such area can be added, deleted or altered. तो ये जो area है इसको state government add भी कर सकती है इस area में और या फिर इसमें से कुछ delete भी कर सकती है या फिर इसको alter कर सकती है Now what will happen after declaring such air pollution control area declare करने के बाद क्या होगा Now after declaring सच एरिया द स्टेट गवर्नमेंट कैन प्रोहिबिट अ बर्निंग ऑफ एनी मटेरियल इन सच एरिया इफ इट इज लाइकली टू कॉज द एयर पोल्यूशन तो कोई भी इस एरिया में अगर कोई ऐसा मटेरियल बर्न हो रहा है जिससे एयर पोल्यूशन हो रहा है तो ऐसे बर्निंग ऑफ सच मटेरियल को स्टेट गवर्नमेंट बैन कर सकती है बट रिमेंबर एनी मटेरियल इट कैन बैन अदर देन फ्यूल सो फ्यूल will not be banned by the state government